2024 Honda CRV is pretty smooth, it's quiet, it has wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I have an Android, sometimes it doesn't connect. When I'm using my Google Maps, it has a feature where you could split the screen to go to your music or other apps such as Audio, Audible. Sometimes it doesn't work. That's why most of the time I plug this up to my phone and it's a USB to Type-C. There's also a Type-C plug for charging. There's a wireless charger. It's slow in my opinion. I normally don't use it. I would forget my phone if I put it there. That's why I recommend this Akron Dock. Check it out. I'm not sponsored. I've been using it since I've been driving my Miata. I'm driving in my car today. It's about 72 degrees. I normally do a mix of driving, city, highway. I'm getting 36.2. I normally drive alone unless I have another passenger. I don't have kids or pets. I normally don't haul anything too crazy. I could try and do speed limit and I was probably getting one or two miles to the gallon extra. But if you consider your time more valuable, you're gonna be doing nine plus. Knock on wood, I haven't gotten any tickets in this. I have two points. Last time I had a hybrid, they're pretty boring. They're good cars though, because the maintenance is less. I have about 8,400 miles. I'll have to get the maintenance done at 10K. It's been a pretty good car, it has good features. One thing that I don't like about this vehicle, this vehicle has adaptive cruise control. Notice when people are getting out of the lane, the car's still slowing down taking precaution I wonder if it could be better where if the car is just not in my path then it'll resume course sometimes it's better just to drive the car yourself if you have lane keep assist it doesn't always stay on every time I turn the car on I have to turn on the lane keep assist if you put a bottle in the steering wheel then you could pretty much be hands off just know the car cannot handle sharp turns and it's not perfect, see? It just went into the next lane. This bottle check, it's not 100%. It's better for you just to keep your hand on the steering wheel. If you wanted to use a towel to hold on to the steering wheel, then you can do that as well. I think the seats in this vehicle, they're decent. They're not super amazing, it's a Honda. I drove to Southern LA from the Bay Area. I didn't have to pump. I could drive this car from San Jose to, to San Diego, from San Jose to Las Vegas without pumping. That's the benefit of having this kinds of cars. Just know that the seats, it doesn't matter if you have good seats. Anything over three hours, you're gonna wanna get out and stretch your legs, go to the bathroom, get a drink of water, those kinds of things. The materials in this vehicle, they're pretty premium. I like the dials, the steering wheel. It's girthy. It has some thickness to it. Because I remember on my Mazda Miata, it was really thin. Obviously, they're trying to save weight. I have to replace it. Well, this it feels pretty good. They made a Civic. It's a detuned version of this engine. I'm not sure if this engine is the same that is in the Honda Accord. It would be pretty cool if you could put this engine into a Civic and make it rear wheel, you'd be able to utilize the power of what it has to offer, as well as uh, getting better gas mileage, I'm pretty sure it handles better. I originally wanted the Civic because it's smaller, and me coming from a Miata, I personally don't like big vehicles, but it's not too big, it's not like a Ford F-150. You could easily maneuver this car, you could do evasive maneuvers, keep in mind that it's an SUV, it's not gonna handle like a sports car, and it's decent, I feel like it's boaty. But the hard wires that I installed for my unit in RA, as well as my Vantu N4, they're pretty important because it's better than having the wires down here. It looks way cleaner. Those are must have accessories. With the car being higher up, knock on wood, I haven't gotten any windshield cracks. I have gotten rock chips on my hood. Obviously, it's a wear and tear type of vehicle. But I noticed that when I had a car such as a Mazda Miata that got rock chips every single time I drove it. I got cracked windshields two times while I had the vehicle within 100,000 miles. 
in California, it's normal to have a rock. But just keep in mind that if you don't drive too close to other people, you'll reduce your windshield cracks. The visibility in a 2024 Honda CRV is pretty good. You don't necessarily have a lot of blind spots. I normally have the back seats down. A uh, camera, it's pretty good to have, but it's also good to look behind you so that you can see the things that are behind you versus relying 100% on the camera. What do you guys think? Do you guys rely on the reverse camera 100% or are you old school and you look back like me? The Honda CRV, it's pretty hard to clean too because I'm only 5'6 and a half. It's hard for me to clean the top of the car, but of washing the car, it's pretty basic because most of the panels, the doors, the hood, it's pretty flat aside from the grill. I noticed that the rear camera, it gets dirty a lot. It's just the nature of having that feature.